You see that? This text message I'm getting ready to read to you will lead to the killer of this young lady, Nika. Because listen, people, when people leave comments and I don't erase you, I'm seeing what you're going to say because I know your verbiage. I've won a lot of cases off Facebook, emails, text messages, and idiots slipping up and leaving dumb messages on comments. And some kind of way... People will tell on themselves, no matter what, y'all. But this is a conversation between Mo Hifa and Irene. This text message, they need to go get both of their asses and lock them up. This young lady's mother, Miss Jenkins, has already got two lawyers. But as two lawyers trying to be high profile, whether high, high profile is, she didn't need no attorneys to have this whole high profile. Too many people know about it. If she should need me, women of with women with voices, we're already here, but I will stand with her. So both of these girls and her parents, I'm calling both of y'all out, the parents out. If you didn't write it, you tell us who wrote it. Because right now, I ain't trying to deal with nobody, but I ain't going to play no games and know this girl's um, um, daughter is dead. So this is what CT had found. We going back and forth. So, and it's already out there. So, if this is already out there, I want to know why both of these chicks ain't in jail. Y'all, this is the proof right here. So, I'm going to let you read it for a minute. Let me go up. I hope y'all can read it because it looked backward on my screen. But if you can't read it, it says, where did you take Nika and did you get the money? The person said they killed her. They told me to put her in the freezer where they said that they didn't know. And she just walked by her damn self. And if I said some, they would kill me. Who is they? Who going to kill you? Why would you do it? How much money did you get? Here we go, another case. And yeah, but I think should stay away from each other for a while until this clear up. I done found out about it. The whole world done found out about it. Until that little girl's murder is kept uh, found now, ain't nobody going to shut up. And that dude, Andrew Holmes, take your ass somewhere and sit down. You a Chicago leader, you suck. Now, if you don't like what I'm saying, I don't care what Chicago mayor you connected to. I don't care what you talking about. If you see some footage without that girl mother, that's a violation of civil constitutional rights and of privacy. And you was not supposed to say nothing unless that girl mother told you to. You stood up here trying to get publicity off a deceased person case. Whatever you went through in the past, we were all emotional. Andrew, if you get your butt on any other video, news network, or anything, and try to sit up here and get more publicity off somebody else's morning, WWB get ready to shut you down, period. Ain't nobody playing with you. And you sit up here trying to be what? You did whatever you trying to be, go away, because we already in the show, and the mother said you was a liar. So as a civil rights activist, and Anders, Andrew Holmes, you ain't even credible. So if you lied about this, you lied about something else. Because I just read this. And them little girls say they put him in their her in the freezer. And then they threatened to kill the little girls. I don't give a damn. Do your research. It's not what you say is what you can prove. And no matter who said what, somebody said they put her in the freezer to kill her. Find the person found did this text. Um, she already in jail. But go get her. And then eliminate this because I'm going to contact the, the little girl's um, mother or her attorneys.
The last part of this text message says, Oh my God, I'm scared. If you were scared, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. But now you're going to go to jail. You're scared because you y'all plan to stick this girl in the freezer. You said it right here, baby. And y'all need to quit Facebook and IG in because you know what? Your ass get caught on there. I don't want pretty much almost 40 cases of stuff like this. Oh my God, I'm scared. Now this feels wrong. It should have feel wrong when you plotted it to happen. So wrong now. I wish we didn't do this. Irene, what you wish you didn't do? And Mohipa, what you wish you didn't do? If you was mine, I'd be whooping your ass right now with your disrespectful stuff, and I would walk you down to the jailhouse. Let me keep it real, y'all. My son did some grimy stuff. I'm not even going to go into it, but I'm a real gangster in the game, and I'm a civil rights actor. I stand for what's right. When I found out what he did, guess what? He went to the um, court to go do something. I had his ass picked up at the courthouse and, I mean, and, and put in jail. And he sat there about three weeks. That's who I am, that part. So if I put my own son in jail, nobody's untouchable from any kind of law when it deals with me. No, by D. So then she says she's scared, right? And we shouldn't have done this. Then the little greedy chick going to say, we, she said, I wish we didn't do this. How am I going to get my money? Girl, did y'all hear what I said? Homegirl said, I wish I didn't do this. Like she remorseful. But you still asking for money and you know you can go to jail. The last part of this text says, and see, it's up there, but people didn't break it out like we doing right now. Girl, I did most of the work. You ain't did shit. I ain't giving you anything, period. Goodbye. So I guess that's Irene telling um, Moeba, you crying, you talking, goodbye. Andrew Holmes, why you ain't saying that about this text message? Why you trying to tell us where... That little girl walked through the hotel. Let me tell y'all something. Forget what we're talking about. I want to see all footage. Because they said it was 47 cameras but one working. How the hell is it that only one camera is working and y'all saw the girl walk through the hotel? Stop telling lies now because you get twisted in your lies. If you don't get your lies together, that's what I look for, y'all, in the case. I don't look for nothing good. I look for all the lies, all the dirt, all the seat. I watch and see who's going to be jumping up on videos, who's going to say what, post messages. Now, Andrew Holmes, I'm going to tell you from a sister point of view, since y'all men think y'all can think like women, no woman is going to walk a, down a dark kitchen with no people in there, always different, but a dark place, and I ain't even seen where it was at yet, but I'm thinking about fine flying out there to see. If I don't, I will have somebody do it. Uh, we ain't going to walk in no dark place like that with no lights, no nothing. I don't care what you say. And let me tell you how intelligent I knew the girl was. She continued to say, I know I'm not drunk. I don't care how she staggered what she did. She may have had some slipped in her drink. Because you guys, one time I went to a club with a homegirl. Make a long story short. I was up there jamming on the floor. When I came back, I drunk um, the rest of my wine cooler. But I don't know. When I finished it, it was like, I couldn't even really, I was like this. I was, and I wasn't drunk because I ain't had but one wine cooler. You know, that ain't no liquor. But on my body, I mean, I just couldn't. Some say, get in your car and go home. Later on, it was a chick who didn't like me because I checked her. She happened to be at the club. My girl was watching. The girl slipped from ecstasy or whatever it was in my drink. My body was climaxing like I was coming and nothing wasn't there. I have never been on you know, anything like that. For the whole day I threw up, I was sick and my body was shaking until whatever that was came out my system. So when you have things, your your whole body is paired. It didn't impair my mind, but it, it just made me be like this the whole time when I was throwing up. And one time I just found myself sleep on the bathroom floor, you know, and I woke up and I got back because I was sick for a whole day. So at this time... And, and until someone sees that autopsy report, and let me make myself clear, I'm not going to believe the autopsy report depending on who do it. And when they tell us who did it, we're going to research them and have an investigation on them as well. 
CT is head of this investigation because she said it holds dear to her heart. She's the one found this um, text message and on the page, but I feel I see that nobody has talked about it. They just said they put it in the freezer. They said they were scared. The girl said you didn't do shit. They said they're going to kill them. One more time. To me, this one Instagram male, and let me, let me, so y'all can see who it came from. See that? It said Nifa. Nifa is Mo Nifa. This one text message incriminate those girls, whoever killed Nika, and then it should bring her to justice. And Andrew, go somewhere and sit down.